Hello everybody, Don Juan here and I apologize for not being able to, you know, for my lack of presence on the channel. I'm really busy with, with a lot of stuff from school. Even now I'm barely able to, to make this video, but I was like, it's, it's for Pokemon's, it's for Pokemon's 20th anniversary. Oh ho ho. And yes, yes, I know I'm terrible. Anyways, yeah, I also know that it's, um... Like Mother 3's 10 year anniversary, and I was gonna do a video on, on that, but <laughs> the Pokemon, and I'll recognize Mother 3 when I do the playthrough of it. It's a wonderful game, by the way, if you haven't played it, what the hell's wrong with you? Go do it right now. Anyways, the first Pokemon game that I played was Pokemon Crystal back in 2001. My cousin got the game on its release date, and since we used to live next to each other in Pomona, um, it was the, this was the first. Pokemon game that I ever played, and it was also the first time I ever played the Pokedex, because my cousin had every copy of Pokemon so far. So then after we completed the Pokedex, um, my cousin, like, got a, oh, well, in order to complete the Pokedex, he got a second Game Boy, um, because he was a thug. So then, then after we completed the Pokedex, he gave me the second Game Boy, he gave me Pokemon Crystal and Pokemon Red. So... I still remember how hard it was to catch that stupid chance in the Safari Zone. But yeah. Anyways, um, Pokemon Crystal was my first official Pokemon game, and I like it better than Red and Blue anyways. It was really good. One of my favorite Pokemon games. Second Jets. Anyways, um, I was a big Pokemon fan before playing the games anyways, because I was watching the anime on Kids WB. Four kids. Four kids. Oh no. And I was playing the Pokemon um, trading card game. And, you know, it, for me, as a um, like Mexican, it was really hard for me to, um, to like play Pokemon and even be into it as a franchise. My parents, I didn't know like, owning any video game consoles in the, in the game, but my cousin gave me because my parents thought that games were like a waste of time, waste of money, and even then it was really hard for me to be into like these cartoons and stuff on, on Kids WB because it, it was the time of the great like satanic Pokemon scare. So you know, even after um, you know Pope John II, Pope John the Second blessed Pokemon, it was really hard for me to, um, you know, be into it, because, you know, my local church was still like, oh, Pokemon's evil. And then, um, stuff like that. And then, um, I don't know, for those of you who don't know, yeah, back then, before Pope John Paul, like, blessed Pokemon, it was, like, Churches all over the country, all over the world were like, eh, it's evil. Pope John Paul played the game, he said it was good, that it spread friendship and stuff. And yeah, still some people thought that it was really bad because in the Pokemon rap, you know, apparently if you played it backwards, um, it said, like, what is it, like, I love Satan or something? I'll put up a clip. Pokemon! Stupid Prime made me out. I'm next to your new Rapidash, Magneton, Scarlet, Gengar, Tangela, Goldie, Spiral, Weezing, Seal, Garado, Slow! Gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all! Yeah. Gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all! Yeah. Gotta catch them all, Pokemon! Eventually, I convinced my parents that it was an indie world franchise. At the time, that Game Boy was the only video game console I had, but I didn't have it for long because uh, my cousin later took the Game Boy back, and then, yeah. So after that, I didn't own a console until 2004 when I, first, when I got my GameCube, and shortly after that, I got a Game Boy Advance through my thug connections. Hey. And I got um, third gen. So I got Fire Red, Leaf Green, and Emerald. And you know, I played them several times because I didn't have much. So I would beat the game, transfer my mons, do it again, etc. You know, using my other friends, like Game Boys and stuff. And I also played Pokemon XD Guild of Darkness. Because it was GameCube 1, and I had a lot of fun with that. So then after that, I spent two years 
saving up to buy my own DS Lite and with it Pokemon Pearl. Before buying the games, I had played the demo in, um, in Target, and I still remember the demo had, um, I think it was Route 204, East of Billy Club. And in the demo, they give you a Lucario, a Shoss, and a Roselia. Now, I fell in love with um, that short demo of 4th gen, because, you know, Pokemon had that complete overhaul of um, the, the graphics, the music, sprites, you know, from, from Game Boy to the DS, obviously, because, you know, there's reasons. And, you know, back in the day, um, I didn't have a home computer or anything, and I never went online, because I could at the library and at my school's library, um, you know, Pokemon shit was blocked. So, I really did, I was, I was in the dark, basically, crap, you know, blinded, until I saw Arceus' life. And, you know, back then, I thought that Shellos was a pre-evolved one that they were going to introduce in Labyrinth, because the Shellos they gave you in the demo was, um, Shellos East, and, you know, it's blue and stuff, so I was like, whoa. So then, um, before, you know, that Christmas, we were going to Mexico, and before, you know, I had the money, and I, I convinced my mom to take me to Toys R Us. And I got the DS with, and it had this little pack that it came with Pokemon Pearl. So then, you know, I finished Pearl in a week on my way to Mexico. And like, while I was there, we drove to Mexico, so it took us like three days. So in the car I was playing, and, and then, um, you know, while we were in Mexico, I was playing. So like, at night, while everyone was asleep, I would stay up, you know, really happy that the DS has an internal light. Because I had the Game Boy Advance, I didn't have the SP, so you know, I needed sunlight to play. Because <laughs> the, the, you know, the OG Game Boy Advance doesn't have an internal light source like the Game Boy Advance SP. But you know, with the DS, I was like, holy crap, I can even play at night. Because it has the, the internal light source. So yeah, it was a great, wonderful time. So then after Platinum came out, I completed the Pokedex once more for the second time, and Platinum was the epitome of my Pokemon experience. Like, favorite game, rivaled only by that of Soul Silver, since 4th Gen is the best gen, and those two games are the best of 4th Gen. You know, Hard Gold, Soul Silver, they're about the same thing. And, you know, since Gen, gen 2, you know, Crystal was like my favorite game before 4th gen, so Silver was just so damn good. After that, I didn't play any new Pokemon games until Black and White 2, and I played Black and White 2 on my friend's DS because my first DS was broken, was it my fault, I swear, and um, I played Black and White 2 because, I don't know, I was like, it's the most recent one, and my friend was like, it's a sequel to Black and White. So since I played Black and White 2 before Black and White, I didn't think much of 5th gen until later when I got my own 3DS XL and I played Black and White. And when I played Black and White, it's like, okay, Black and White 2 was better than Black and White in content-wise, post-game, Pokemon, etc. But Black and White was a lot better with the story with N. You know, screw Chorus, Chorus Gate. So, you know, N was a really good character, strengthened only by the anime. You know, the 5th gen anime is just seriously lacking in stuff other than N. N was the only good part about it. And the Black and White manga, Seriously, for those of you who haven't read the Pokemon manga, go do it. It expands on everything, from, like the Pokemon world, and enhances it. I don't understand how people haven't read it. Yeah. You know, I've also played the Pokemon TCG video game with my friends in high school on our calculators, calculators, and I play Pokemon Pinball as well, and you know, whatever. So, you know, since I'm doing a video on, on Pokemon, I'll give my two cents on the gens and stuff, just real quick. So Gen 1 was amazing for starting the franchise, but I don't really think that it holds up that well anymore, unless you play it on an emulator, because then you can speed up the game. Gen 2 was great, holds up way better than Gen 1, and I can still play it without using the speed function on an emulator, but obviously still using the emulator is better. But you know, I think what really made me like Gen 2 better was the whole, I can go to Kanto and fuck them up, and then along with other stuff. It added uh, abilities, it held items, which were very much needed. Gen 3 revamped the look and music of the games as the Game Boy Advance had more processing power and added more Pokemon than Gen 2, had an awesome post game in an Emerald with Battle Frontier and being able to battle the true champion of Hoenn, Steven, in his most powerful incarnation. 
Now, Gen 4 was the pinnacle of Pokemon. First and foremost, it introduced a physical special split, which was extremely needed. Now, um, the Pokemon issues were simply incredible to the metagame, rivaled only by Gen 5, and even without taking the metagame into account, they were phenomenal in design. Um, they gave pre evolved forms and new evolved forms to already existing Pokemon from Gen 1 and from Gen 3. And the post game brought the Battle Frontier back with an entirely new spin and an entirely new area. So it, it brought back the Battle Frontier and it made it better. And so many new legendaries that they incorporated into the new area, into the post game. And then, talking about legendaries, let's talk about a, like the plot for the game real quick. Cyrus is the bad guy boss with the most ambition so far. Like, the guy wanted to erase the universe and create a new one in his image. The guy wanted to become God. God. So, you know, this 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 game really brought forward the Pokemon creation myth, etc. In an entirely new way, but with the introduction of the true god Pokemon Arceus and the Pokemon governing time and space style and Palkia. Even the antimatter Kunu Fu Satan Pokemon in Yuratina. And then the Pokemon Fortune anime was amazing. It had the, like, one of the best like rivals, Paul. And like the animation quality and the, the league was amazing. And I think other than first gen and stuff. Like the second gen, um, the only like anime like, that's just like mostly nostalgia that rivals fourth gen is probably sixth gen. From what I've seen, sixth gen is pretty damn good. Anyways, that that's about that's enough gushing about best gen. I mean fourth gen. What's the difference? Fifth gen brought along the godsend that was reusable TMs and the best po post game Pokemon has had as of yet, and some great changes to the meta game. Now already talked about N and stuff. The whole thing about truth and ideals was simply poetic. Gen 6 is the most iffy gen in my opinion. The overhaul the games got due to the power of the 3DS was beautiful, and they request the mindful avatars and the introduction of super trade and other online club abilities such as wonder trade, and they would add friends and battle passerby. Now what makes me feel really iffy about Gen 6 is how incomplete it feels. They set up things with Zygarde, Hoopa Volcanion, and other things, and as we can see it, Gen 7 is coming out. And we really haven't seen Gen 6 get the closure that it needs. I don't know. I mean, maybe they'll... What I'm really hoping... Because they can always shoehorn these other legendaries that didn't get anything in Gen 6 into Gen 7 and be like, Oh, they were from this new region all along, but I think that's terrible. I, I think that they should either, in Gen 7, just keep to its own thing, and then bring back Pokemon Z to give Gen 6 closure, or maybe make Gen 7 connected to Gen 6, like Kanto and Johto were back in Gen 2, and then that would be a lot better. So that, that, that's like a way better way to finish off the Zygarde and other legendaries thing other than just shorting them in there. And it makes sense when you think about it, because in Gen 6 is in France, France is connected to like Spain and other European countries, so they can, if they base Gen 7 off of one of those, they can easily put it in and make the two generations connected. Anyways, also, Auras was super hyped with like all the Hoenn confirmed memes, and I feel like in the end, it was meh. Like, it was very... President Sleeper. Man, they could have done so much more with with Auras and they just I don't know, they just didn't. And then I don't know, Team Flair was ass, Lysander was ass, Cal's Elite 4, they they might be even be into it. I mean Team Flair broadcasted the whole We're evil and no one did anything, like in other Pokemon games. Anyways, whatever. Maybe they'll fix it in the next games. Anyways, like, I'm gonna talk about what Pokemon is to me. Pokemon to me began as a way for me to escape the world. A way for me to have my own place with, like, my own adventures and experiences. Like, and at the time, my cousin that used to live next to me was the only person who shared this 
this little Pokemon with me, but he moved away, and then uh, it was just me. None of my friends were into it back at school at the time, until surprisingly in high school, when, you know, that whole thing, everyone was into Pokemon at the time. And then suddenly, Pokemon became something completely new. An entire, like, new world. Like, no, universe opened up. One with more human contact in it. One that showed me things such as the Nuzlocke challenge and the joy of being able to play with friends. To come up with fun scenarios and mini tournaments where we can apply memes and inside jokes. Multi battles, 10 out of 10. I think Pokemon definitely had a major positive impact on my life and continues to do so. I am nothing if not entirely ga grateful to Game Freak, Satoshi Tajiri, Kensuke Mori, Junoichi Masuda, and of course Satoru Iwata for bringing such an amazing and incredible phenomenal and all of the thesaurus where it's possible for birthing something that is so important to myself and to hundreds of, and of thousands, millions of others around the world, and that beautiful thing is Pokemon. Happy birthday, Pokemon, you beautiful, wonderful mess thing you're gonna... In the future, is gonna have like 8 million or something. Anyways, that's, those are just my thoughts on, on Pokemon, what Pokemon is to me, um, kind of what I think of the six Pokemon generations and kind of my hopes for Gen 7 all shoehorned in into a nice-ish Pokemon 20th anniversary video. I wish I could have put a little bit more um, work into this video but as I said I, I shouldn't even be making this because then I have to edit it and crap because I have yeah, fucking midterms guys but I'm doing it anyways because I This one that I just need to video and upload. So after this goes up, um, the day that this goes up will be Thursday. Or actually, no, the day that this goes up will be Wednesday. Um, after that, I'm most likely gonna edit the videos, and by this weekend, I'll probably upload like two, three videos. At least two, for sure, guaranteed, right? Anyways, thank you all for watching and for sticking with me for all this time, for sticking with Pokemon for 20 years, and many more to come hopefully, because this has been Don Juan, signing out.